The word father to my dad, I think, is his highest calling. He oftentimes has said, you know, there are 12 apostles, but you only have one daddy. And he takes that responsibility very seriously. He's never made us feel like he was too busy to be our father. He and my mother worked together to help us all feel really important. My parents met at the University of Utah at a rehearsal for a play. Daddy was busy studying and had his nose in his books and mother was up singing and he, he noticed her. <laughs> he took his nose out of the book and looked at her and said, who is that girl? Growing up in the Nelson household was fun. Imagine living with your best friends and having wonderful parents. It was always fun. We enjoyed being home together. We did a cross-country camping trip to go to the New York World's Fair and um, we just played. It's one thing that I am in awe about my mother and my father is how much they taught us without actually saying anything. Just by the way they lived their lives, the way they taught the gospel in our home, we learned love, we learned respect and how we want to be like the Savior. And our number one goal is to return to live with our Heavenly Father. I know my father was really busy, but I never really realized it. He had a great way of making time and making us know that we were important. Sunday mornings, my mom was gone to sing in the Tabernacle Choir. He had the responsibility of getting nine girls ready for church and out the door on time. And he did it with love. He loved and cherished my mother. And he was very supportive of her. She was a wonderful singer and a wonderful musician and always encouraged her to be who she was. One of my favorite things about being President Nelson's grandson is that I get to see him in constant motion. He's always moving, he has endless energy, but he always has time to pull us aside individually and see how we're doing. In the fifth grade, I remember an experience where we were asked to do a report on our hero, and I chose my grandfather, Nelson. And in the end, our heroes were invited to come to an assembly and I didn't think he would be able to make it. He is such a busy man. But I asked him to come and he came and stood right next to me as I gave my report and spoke about him as my hero. To be around grandfather is just to feel love and to feel just like you're the most important thing in the world to him. And I remember as a young grandchild, they had a riding lawnmower. It was like we'd get in line in the back of the house to go sit on grandfather's lap and take a lap around the yard as he mowed. He's always there for you when you need him. He made it look easy. He made being a father look easy. And now as a father myself, I'm realizing all that he did do for us and, and everything that he was able to accomplish. So for me, it's meant a lot. I was the only son, and now I have four boys of my own, and so it's been a great thing to be able to pass that along to them, and I hope I've done a good job doing that. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Daddy. 95 years. You are amazing. You're a great example to me and to the whole world. We're grateful for you and for all that you do, for the love and the tenderness that you show. We love you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandfather. Grandfather.